In the late 19th century and early 20th century, there was a rise in criminal syndicates. Here are some lesser known Jewish ones that rivaled other larger organizations. Zwi Migdal. Zwi Migdal was a criminal organization founded by Jews in Poland in the 19th century, based mainly in Argentina. The group's main operation was the trafficking of Jewish women from Central Europe, mainly from Warsaw, into slavery and forced prostitution. The organization, whose operators were Jewish, functioned from its foundation in the 1860s until 1939. The organization's annual turnover was 50 million at the turn of the 20th century. After the First World War, it had 400 members in Argentina, Buenos Aires being its main center of operations. It had branch offices in Rio de Janeiro, Sao Paulo and Santos, the United States, Poland, South Africa, India and China. During the 1920s, the organization grew to its largest ever size. At its height, 430 individuals acting as pimps and in other criminal roles oversaw a network of 2,000 brothels and approximately 4,000 women in Argentina alone. The organization's success stemmed from the fact that its members were bound by rules that were based on order, discipline, and honesty. The network was well organized and members cooperated closely to protect their interests. The decline of the group was caused by a lot of factors as internal struggles and the First World War. The Purple Gang, the Purple Gang, also known as the Sugar House Gang, was a criminal mob of bootleggers and hijackers composed predominantly of Jewish gangsters. They operated in Detroit, Michigan during the 1920s of the Prohibition era and came to be Detroit's dominant criminal gang. The Michigan legislature prohibited the sale of liquor in 1917, three years before national prohibition was established by a constitutional amendment. Along with temperance supporters, industrialist Henry Ford owned the River Rouge plant and desired a sober workforce. So he backed the Damon Act, a state law that, along with the Wiley Act, prohibited virtually all possession, manufacture, or sale of alcohol starting in 1918. Detroit is close to Ohio, so bootleggers and others would import liquor from Toledo where it was still legal. They also smuggled liquor in from Canada. Judges took a lenient view of offenders. The Damon Act was declared unconstitutional in 1919 by the state Supreme Court. In 1920, the 18th Amendment was adopted and prohibition took effect throughout the United States. Canada particularly the port city of Windsor, Ontario, directly across the Detroit River from Detroit, became a major point for smuggling alcohol products into the U.S. The Canadian government had also banned the use of alcoholic beverages, but still approved and licensed distilleries and breweries to manufacture and export alcohol. Excessive violence and infighting caused the gang to destroy itself in the 1930s. The Yiddishers, the Yiddishers were a London street gang based in Whitechapel and were led by Alfred Solomon. One of their more famous members was future mobster Jack Spot during the interwar years. During the 1930s, they opposed the growing fascist movement in Great Britain and participated in an attack on members of the British Union of Fascists, led by Sir Oswald Mosley, later known as the Battle of Cable Street on 4 October 1936. Over time, the economic and social conditions of the Jewish community in the East End improved. This reduced the allure of gangs for young men looking for income and status. It's important to note that these gangs were not representative of the Jewish community as a whole. They were a product of their time, arising from specific social and economic conditions. The majority of Jewish immigrants and their descendants pursued lawful and productive lives, contributing significantly to the countries they settled in. Thanks for watching and feel free to subscribe to this channel.